The Button Monger Appraisals, Education, Purchases, and Sales French Fop Buttons The French Revolution and subsequent reign of terror that followed led to the renunciation of all forms of elaborate and luxurious dressing for fear of being executed as a sympathizer of the aristocracy. The men of the period clothed themselves in long jackets and leather boots, a style borrowed from Britain, and the women in simple robes, long flowing tunics, and gowns similar to the ones worn by the ancient Greeks. Following the reign of terror after the execution of Robespierre, the directory period began. The ostentatious dress and lifestyle of the aristocracy returned. Ornate carriages began to reappear on the streets of Paris, and the city erupted in a fervor of pleasure-seeking and entertainment. Theaters thrived and popular music satirized the excess of the revolution. Les Incroyables, The Incredibles, and Et Les Marvelises, The Marvelous Women, were a collective group of young people known for their outlandish ways of dressing who rose to prominence during this period. Their exaggerated and luxurious styles were in response to the sober sadness that the reign of terror had spread. The Marvelises scandalized Paris with dresses and tunics modeled after the ancient Greeks and Romans, but cut of light or even transparent linen and gauze. These garments were so revealing that they were termed woven air. The garments also displayed a vast amount of cleavage and were too tight to allow pockets. To even carry a handkerchief, these ladies had to carry small bags known as reticules. Enormous hats, short curls like those on the Roman bus, and Greek-style sandals were all the rage. The Incroyables wore eccentric outfits. Large earrings, green jackets, wide trousers, huge neckties, and thick glasses. Their musk-based fragrances earned them the nickname Muscadins among the lower classes. They wore bicorn hats and carried bludgeons, which they referred to as their executive power. They wore their hair at shoulder length, sometimes pulled up and back with a comb to imitate the hairstyles of the condemned. Some incroyables sported large monocles, affected a lisp and a stooped hunchback posture to exaggerate their absurdity. The incroyables and marvelises were called French fops by the English. It was a pejorative term for a foolish man overly concerned with his appearance and clothing in 17th century England. The English took the original French fashion drawings of the day and satirized their hairstyles, dress, and poses. Some of the alternative terms are coxcomb, fribble, popinjay, meaning parrot, fashion monger, and ninny. Macaroni was another term of 18th century men so concerned with fashion. The true French fop buttons were copied from these caricatures. The exaggerated poses of both men and women found in the original fashion drawings appear in the poses of the figures on the buttons. Other buttons show figures wearing the more normal dress of the period and without the exaggerated poses and costumes of true fops. Although they are often included in the category of fops, they are not considered marvelises and incroyables. French fop buttons were primarily produced between 1880 and 1910 and are highly collectible. Today, most fop buttons are valued between $30 and $75, with a few having a value of up to $300.